Yeah, this looks like a good spot to take a little break. Sit down here, get something to eat and drink. So the one thing good about resupply day, getting back in the woods, is that I pack out what I want. Wawa hoagie. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, I pack this out. So, I'll have something other than the regular trail food. I know it's a little heavier than most of the food, but uh, you know what? It's just temporary. I even packed out some packets of mayonnaise. and a Gatorade. Roast beef hoagie. So here's another section that's a bypass, a blue blaze, uh, bypassing wolf rocks, which um, I had another hiker going southbound was uh, telling me that he would recommend taking the bypass. He said it's a lot easier walking and that um, he, he said that I guess it could be slippery on the on wolf's wolf rock wolf rocks i'm sorry and um so i looked in the far out and it said that it is uh stacked boulders that has a couple of steep areas which could be slippery on in wet conditions and i recommend uh some hikers uh, uh who may not have the ability to take the bypass So, well, I'm going to take the white blaze. So this looks kind of like the, the lead up to uh, Wolf's Rock, Wolf's Rocks, whatever it is. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to get as much video as I can, but not while I'm moving. So I just uh, collapsed my uh, trekking poles and strapped them to my to my pack because uh, I think I might need my hands for this. This uh, kind of reminds me of the knife's edge. There's a blaze. I hope you can see the rocks that go through there. All right. Yeah, I sure wish I could uh, video as I'm going, but I will on the spots that I think I can, but I know the other thing is too, they got to look out for snakes because if it's, uh, if it's sunny, I know they'll be out sunning themselves on these rocks. Uh, as the far out app even said that.
think those were rocks back there were kind of just the introduction. I have a feeling. This is from mile 1288.2 on Wolf Rock, Wolf's Rocks. So I backed up a little bit because I didn't see any white blazes up top there where I just showed you. And it looks like the blaze goes back down here. So I guess, um, I don't know. I know it goes down there, but maybe it goes back up again. We'll see. I wonder which way it goes. Does it go straight over? Oh no, it goes this way. goes through there. All right, see you on the other side. There's a black snake right through there. He just saw me. Yeah, I am being very cautious only because, not just because of the rocks, but because of any snakes that may be in here, as I mentioned. Oh, and it still goes on.
okay the camera goes off here <laughs> so yeah just coming down off of there i noticed there were some uh rocks that were kind of damp with moss and they are slippery so you got to be really careful so i think i'm over the worst of it so now through this boulder field here and maybe i'll hit a regular rocky trail I will see. all right so i think i made it through wolf it's wolf rocks so uh i think that was exciting <laughs> Just, uh, it was well well worth it so now i'm back on the regular rocky trail i think uh I gotta check but i think i'm probably still a couple of miles away from uh kirk ridge shelter i think it's called i'll check and get back to you yeah it looks like a nice campsite right there yeah it's uh 2.1 to the next shelter 2.1 miles to the next shelter i already saw one guy who was going to the that shelter uh, saw him back at the bypass and he elected to take the uh, the blue blades the bypass so I told him I said if I'm not back at, if, I, if I'm not there at the shelter tonight you'll know why then so uh, anyway it was fun So this is where the uh, Blue Blaze, the bypass for uh, Wolf Rock comes, rocks, comes out on the north side, north end, comes out here. Pretty warm in the sunlight. But nice and cool in the woods. It's about two tenths of a mile away from uh, Kirk Ridge Shelter. There's the AT going that way, and up this way is where the shelter is, where I'm going for the evening. So I made it to uh, Kirk Ridge Shelter. Um, I only did nine miles today, just what I expected to do, though. Um, just going up here and getting some water. Uh, evidently, there's a spigot up here. And then uh, going back, and it's a little bit early to eat, but I got some snacks I can eat. And then uh, had the other half of my Wawa hoagie. And uh, tomorrow, uh, I go into, I'm going to go into Delaware Water Gap and see what's going on there. So this is uh, the end of my day, Monday, June 13th. I think it's day 106, 107, whatever. See you tomorrow.